in this video, we're going to go through the formal proof uh, that root 2 is irrational. So the formal proof for that is uh, by contradiction. So we're going to try and uh, prove that it is rational and we'll end up with some sort of contradiction, which you'll see at the end. So to start off, we assume that it is, in fact, a rational number. Well, for root 2 to be rational, rational means it can be written as a fraction, p over q, where p and q have no common factors. Okay, so now into the proof. If uh, the square root of 2 is p over q, this implies that if we were to square both sides, 2 would be equal to p squared over q squared. Uh, working through just a bit of algebra, isolating uh, or getting rid of the fraction, this implies that 2q squared is equal to p squared. What this means is p squared is an even number because p squared can be written as 2 times some other number. So therefore, p squared is even. Now, if p squared is even, that means p is also even. If you think about any even square number, for example, 36, the square root of that is 6. Uh, 64, the square root is 8. So all the even uh, numbers, when you square them, the answer is also even. So if p is even, p can be written as 2 times some number, k. Any even number can be written as 2 times another number. k is an element of z, so it's some integer. That's the first thing that we need to, um, first thing that we need to say. The second thing then is using this here, so 2q squared is equal to p squared. Well now instead of p I'm going to write in 2k. So 2q squared is equal to 2k brackets squared. Okay, 2k squared is 4k squared. So that means 2q squared is equal to 4k squared. Divide across by 2, q squared is equal to 2k squared. Well, this is similar to this. We've now just shown that q squared is even. Therefore, q squared is even. And that, again, same as up here, means that q is even. Which, again, means that q can be written as 2 times a number. Let's call it m. So q is, can be written as 2 times m. Now, if we take these two things here, so q is equal to 2m, p is equal to 2k, and we put them back into this. Let's see what happens. So square root of 2 is equal to p over q. Now p is 2k and q is 2m. That means the square root of 2 is equal to 2k over 2m. Now we have a common factor. So it's a common factor of 2 And that is a contradiction. Remember, at the start, we said if p or if the square root of 2 is rational, then it can be written as p over q, where p and q have no common factors. Now we've just proven that if it was in fact rational, it would have a common factor of 2. And that is the contradiction. So therefore, the square root of 2 is irrational. Okay, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.